Hey guys, welcome back. Another episode on the Asylum server. So uh, I'm inside a house, yeah, uh, uh, in my base. See, there's my little smelting uh, setup right there. And as a matter of fact, I have to go reload that. But yeah, started building the village houses. And uh, I really wanted to take my time with the interior on these things and really kind of give my interior some thought. And when are they going to fix these stupid lighting issues with these blocks my goodness see over here it doesn't do that oh, a little bit over there but so this is just uh um full planks and then stairs so it's kind of like i don't know if you can see it you probably can't see it on the video but just uh i just wanted to give a little bit of a different look to it and um kind of leave these beams exposed and kind of make it part of the design, but yeah, this is probably how it's gonna stay. And then the second floor, you know, I started working on, so here's the issue. <laughs> you might have just seen it if you were looking close. This house is huge. <laughs> I don't know, I thought maybe, maybe I got a little bit carried away. And then when I came out and did this, I was like, it's not taller than the castle, it's perspective. This house is, is about, Seven or eight, maybe. It's probably about seven or eight. Four, four, five. So it's four, first floor, second floor, eight. So it's probably like, it's probably close to ten blocks smaller than the castle. But, <laughs> and I knew that when I was building it, and I didn't come out here and look like this because I was just getting carried away building this thing, and, um, yeah. It looks bigger than the castle. It's all perspective. The castle is bigger. But when you're standing in front of this house, <laughs> it looks like the people live in a big house and the king lives in a tiny castle. So I'm going to have to either... Uh, I'm going to have to just take off one floor. I think if I take one floor off this house, it won't be so... But I really like the way this looks like this. I mean, I in my, in my head, I know what this is going to look like when it's finished. And um, I really want this house uh, somewhere. So I'm probably going to build these houses outside in a, one of the support villages maybe and make uh, just cut this third floor off and put the roof on. It's going to change the whole look of the house. It's going to make the roof line a lot different looking. I, I like the way the roof line kind of looks. It's different. You know, it's kind of unique. I don't see a lot of roof lines that look like that. So... I think I'm missing a stair there in that corner. I don't think you guys can see my cursor, but right up in that corner there should be another uh, step. So anyway, yeah, figures. I'm finally happy with the way I'm taking my time with the interior and making it look nice. Uh, <laughs> and I came out here and it was a giant house. So that was the plan today. I had planned on building another one right next to it. I started the, uh, I started laying out the foundation for it. And figured we could uh, we could do it together, but no, it's not going to happen because now I got to take off that whole floor. And rather than not do it video, I figured I would just come on and show you how much I screwed up. See, it doesn't look that bad from here. Like when you're in the castle, you're looking down. It's just it looks like a big house, but it doesn't look like it's a house that's bigger than a castle. But the important thing is when you walk in. Uh, I don't want people to walk in and see this giant. Oh, by the way, Th Thurzo updated his pack. I don't know if uh, all the stuff wasn't, the food wasn't in the pa last pack I was using. I was behind. But look at his baked potatoes. Don't they look awesome? And his, and his mutton, it's the cooked mutton. Just an awesome pack. This pack is just, this pack is just so nice looking. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description again if you guys want to check it out. I highly recommend it. Um, I'll give you the link to the one. There's some unofficial releases in here in this pack. So some of the stuff that you'll get, um, some of the stuff I have you won't get yet, but you will eventually. It's really coming along nice. So let's get back to the video. Let's talk about this. Um, so we have the castle walls up, right? Uh, they still need some work. I started working on them over there, but they're up pretty much. You're not going to see a lot of this, though, when I'm done, because this is going to be the main structure here where um, 
where I'm going to live, more or less. Um, everything I need is going to be here. Upstairs, downstairs. This is gonna actually going to... This is actually going to go above the roof line of the castle, so you'll be able to see this uh, when it's done. These are this angle here is going to be. I'm going to try and make steps like a circular, um, an angled staircase kind of that will go up to um, the second floor there, or maybe uh, up to its own room. I haven't decided yet, but I have to look. I actually am am basing uh, the outside. Of this castle or I should say the um, design of it on on an actual castle it's a French castle I don't know the name of it but uh, if I can dig it up I'll throw it in the description but yeah I found the blueprints online and I tried to do it uh, to kind of to scale but the layout is pretty much the same where it's got these three big towers and then these small ones around it um, I can't, you can't replicate, actually this is a pretty good indication what the castle looks like, the real castle looks like, it's just flat walls, I mean, the whole point of a castle is not to get, not to be breached, so they didn't put a lot of detail on their walls, and to me that just doesn't work, so I just took the layout of the castle, tower locations, the entrances, and that was it, and the rest of it is all, um, I'm all just gonna freehand it so to speak so i'm gonna make a i'm probably gonna make here yeah this is gonna extend above i might have to cut off these towers that i put all that work in uh at least that middle one might have to come might have to come apart and i'll probably yeah i'll probably incorporate that into it as well because it's, it's it's silly that you're not gonna have a tower inside the main structure so this is going to be, uh, this whole area here will be where every all, all the rooms are going to be. This area here is going to be, probably going to be stables. I haven't decided yet, but oh, I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not going to sneeze. Okay. So I'm thinking stables. Maybe I can make some cool stables under here. And then above the stables kind of like the quarters of uh, maybe we can make some quarters for where the people who support the castle just make some rooms up there basically uh, outside uh, outside we'll we'll do some other stuff uh, as far as like uh, pubs and, and shops and stuff like that so I don't know if I'm gonna do that yeah I'll probably do one I'll probably do a few inside all right I have no idea where this edit is gonna be but I just had Java error and got kicked so what I was starting to say was we'll uh, have some shops outside the uh, outside the castle. So let me just uh, let's get the sun up, and then we're gonna run over to another thing that I wanted to show you guys. Um, like all of this stone here was was actually smelted. I mean, I'm trying to get as much cobble in as I can, and and uh, and things that don't require me doing any kind of smelting but I think that tower is wrong over there I don't think it's finished I really gotta look at that but uh, the, these these uh, obviously the cobble all of this stone had to come from somewhere and I've been maintaining a mine uh, let's see yeah, I'm gonna finish this tower up as well I have to finish these walls yeah there's still a lot of work to do finish that wall and these towers I think the other side is completely done and also uh, I'm gonna be building a tower on top of that uh, as well kind of like a keep maybe so let's see where am I and where is my where is my mine I'll show you guys the mine that I've been working on to I think it's over here right what's up boys totally forgot about you guys no offense been busy let's go this way here it is so a lot of this stuff here that I've been looking for is wow that's not water down there that was a that was a didn't render in right look like water all right sorry about that so this mine has really been my main resource for everything that I've been working on. All my stone, all my resources, uh, all the stuff that I gave away for Christmas. 
It all came from this room. This is pretty much at one point. Uh, I've been I've been silk touching my diamonds because I don't have a fortune pick, and uh, I really should have a lot more diamonds. Than I do. So a lot of this stuff here is just um, it's all very random. I don't have what. You know, not doing too bad keeping this trying to keep this stuff but yeah this is it it goes extends this way for a little bit this is the side I'm working now and this is the side that I had worked um, to get all the stone I have now for the castle so uh, at first I was just strip mining and then I you know as I would find um, diamonds and kind of switched from strip mining to stone because I was running out of stone constantly so I started just, uh, yeah, trying to dig as much as I could. Um, you know what? Let me throw some torches down here. As much as I could, as fast as I could, to a point where I had all the stone that I needed. So, yeah, this was all solid. And, and I can't believe how few, um, how few um, caves I actually found. Uh, I think this is really the one. Yeah, this is really the one that I. Uh, it goes back that way as well, but this is the one. Uh, this is the one cave I found, and there really isn't much to it. It just kind of goes up that way. But a lot of the resources that I'm, well, most of the resources that I'm using came from here. So my next thing is, uh, my next issue is going to be that I'm running out of lava. So I got to finish off a lot of this stuff. This is just, you know, just wanted to make it look more like a mine instead of just being down here and uh, just breaking blocks and getting bored. I like to build a little and then do some caving and build a little more. So up here is a cave also. I think I marked it with a red, yeah, the red torch. I want to check this cave out too. But the biggest uh, thing that I want to, uh, biggest thing that I need to do, my next real big project is that I think I'm running out of lava for smelting. I built, one of the reasons I picked this location is, number one, for the spruce and the dark oak that's everywhere around here. Because that's going to be a big part of those houses that I'm building. But um, another... Another um, another reason was there was a huge lava pool. I don't mind anybody getting in here. I gotta close off the other ones down there too. So one of the reasons that I started building here was this lava pool because I knew I was gonna have to smelt all the stone at some point. I wasn't gonna do uh, an andesite uh, castle because you know it's ugly. And I tried to get as much, I'm going to try and work as much of this into the build as I can. This isn't going to stay like this, by the way. This is just like a temporary thing. But this is underneath the castle. This is all going to be utilized as well. I'll probably end up um, digging this out and making catacombs and dungeons and shit like that. Um, but yeah, this was all, <laughs> this whole thing was all lava. And i just been building it, taking, grabbing uh, lava from it and just filling in with dirt. And... Uh, it's really gotten to the point now where I am uh, going to be running out of lava real soon. So I think I'm going to have to consider, um, did I take five or six? No, I take another. I'm going to have to consider doing something where I'll be able to just dig down until I find lava and then maybe have one of the guys or a couple of the guys help me with uh, an item elevator to bring the buckets up either bring the buckets up or bring the blocks up after they've been smelted because this uh, this is a long process and all of these all of these blocks have to be smelted so there's only so much I can do with cobble oh, I did take the right amount and I'm actually hard to believe but I'm actually running out at one point everything was full I think this guy's still good this one here is these chests I, have, I used to have all these things I used to have all those chests I was at six double chests filled with stone um, 
And I think this is all the dirt and the trees and, and the wood from all the trees that were here. Wow, that's all I have left. Jeez. I'm gonna have to start a tree farm. Yeah, a lot of that's lot all that stuff was here, you know, when I leveled off this ground, so that is pretty much uh, where I'm at. <laughs> I know it's been a while since uh, since I recorded here, but it's because I'm doing all this work and it's really just monotonous, grindy kind of thing. So I'm not putting out as many Asylum videos as I have been. Plus, I'm trying to put some other games on the channel. But this is going to start um, taking up a lot of my time now. So I need to take that roof. I need to take one layer off of that mega house. And uh, then from that point on, once they're built, um, I might I might ask for some help to. I want all of the same houses, not the same exact house, but I want that style of house, smaller houses, mixed in here. All these foundations, uh, they're the wrong size, by the way. I, I realized that when I built that thing. That should have been my first clue that the house is too big, but um, but the spacing can still be the same. So I want these houses. Uh, in here mixed in um, one of the how a couple of the houses when I want to make shops I can actually make shops out of the houses you know just make the shop the first floor of the house and then <clears throat> stairs going upstairs so a lot of plans a lot of plans those ways I still have not touched the wall I haven't even thought about what the entrance is going to be like yet I still have the whole issue of do I want to I'm thinking about maybe surrounding this castle with water kind of like a moat I don't know um, thinking about it so yeah lots to do and that's pretty much where I'm at this is where I've been there's a sun looks really good too I just realized he did the sun very nice very nice um, we're gonna have to uh, do another update on this pack uh, show you some of the stuff that he's done but yeah check out that big potato it's pretty cool that's gonna be it for this episode guys I need to get back to work obviously I have work to do I can't have a house bigger than a castle, so I'm going to get started on that, and I'll be back with another episode very soon.